Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of January 22nd. We're just going to jump right in here. You have this card that says, what the winter spirit knows. And you have this other card that says, when coyote calls your name. So uh, let's see what's going on here. This is from the Dreamweaver Oracle, by the way, these two cards. So uh, I feel like you've really been putting in work. You have the Ten of Wands, which... Uh, I like, personally, I like the Ten of Wands. Um, you know, he's, that is his harvest that he is carrying. He's about to uh, reach his home there that's in the background. And, um, you know, he's about to have his harvest. So it like, really, the Ten of Wands kind of represents having done a lot of work and finally getting your, your rewards. So I feel for a lot of you, uh, clearly, you have the Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups. I mean, these are the Ace of Swords even, big victories. So, you know, clearly you are getting your rewards for the work that you've been doing. I really feel this is going to be a good year for you, um, just in general, Sagittarius. Like whatever, you're, um, like whatever you're working towards or whatever you're working on is, uh, you know, going to lead to a lot of success. I would make sure to balance your work. You uh, Right here, you have this workaholic card. So uh, it is showing up in the good stuff, <laughs> which really would kind of say that you are getting paid, you know, well for the work that you're doing. But, um, you know, at the same time, I would make sure to, um, you know, kind of like balance things out. I would make sure that you're not, um, you know, doing too much of one thing. You have the Ten of Wands here. I just want to take all this in as well real quick. But yeah, I, I like I feel for a lot of you that you've been carrying heavy burdens. You've been doing a lot of work. I do feel like you've had a lot of responsibilities just in general. Um, I kind of feel like some of you need to like do need, maybe you just need a day or something like that to get away from responsibilities if you can. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know, maybe if you have kids, maybe you need to like, you know, put them in a dog cage and, you know, go on a vacation if that's legal or, you know, whatever, give them to your mom or something like that and let her take care of them, right? I feel like some of you need that type of vacation. <laughs> and I, so I have no clue what I'm talking about. Obviously, I don't have kids, right? The, the, the government would never allow that. But what I would say is, you know, again, I kind of feel, I get this feeling of needing a break, you know? Um, and even if it's just a day, right, I think that it would be very beneficial for you. Um, and I'm not saying it has to be your kids, you know, it could just be like, I think you could take your kids with you if you just need like a vacation, a break, uh, this could be a staycation. Maybe you just need to take a sick day or something like that. But, um, I don't know. It's popping into my head that it would be very, you know, that it would be very healing, probably good for you just in general. You have the net of swords. The net of swords is about rushing and needing to make sure not to rush. I always say that the net of swords to me sometimes is like the used car salesman. Um, um, you know, to me, he can be a person in your life that's like trying to push you into something. And I do get that feeling here. I, I only say that when I feel it on the Knight of Swords. And I would say, um, you know, I always tell people with this card, like, be careful of like get rich quick schemes. Be careful of people who are like trying to force you into something. Um, be careful of people who are trying to, you know, push you into like buying something expensive, literally could be a car. Um, you know, just take your time. Like, just don't be bullied, you know, is what this is saying. And I kind of do have that here, but it could be anything, you know, a person who's being pushy. I would be careful of that. You have the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, Wheel of Fortune says fortunes are turning in your favor. So, you know, I kind of feel that here. And you even have the Six of Swords to so the Four of Wands. Four of Wands can be marriage, but it doesn't have to be. The Four of Wands can be you setting yourself free. It can be you, um, you know, kind of like removing yourself from a situation or, you know, letting go of a, one thing. You know, Four of Wands really is a card that comes up when we could be completing something like a project or something we've been working on and we're just, you know, going to the next thing, but it, it's a celebration. So, you know, I feel like you are celebrating removing burdens from your life with that Ten of Wands. Yeah, with the Ten of Wands, you have the Temperance card, you. <laughs> I think that this is just you coming up in a very strong position. Whenever you come up as yourself, it, you know, it puts you in a position of power and strength. So, you know, again, I feel like you're just coming up as yourself here. Uh, with the Knight of Swords, you have the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is your emotions overflowing, being very happy. So I feel for a lot of you that there is a lot of happiness and joy coming in for you with the Ace of Cups. It's like your emotions are, are overflowing here. And I feel like you could be finding a lot of happiness at this time. Uh, I also feel, for some reason, I'm getting news here as well. I don't really consider the Ace of Cups, that's why I'm hesitating. I don't really consider the Ace of Cups to be a card of like news or anything like that. You do have the Ace of Swords though, which could be communication, like positive communication or something like that. But uh, I don't know, I, like I read intuitively and I'm getting something about news here or good news. It could be news that just makes you very happy, like you're getting approved for something. Maybe you're getting approved for a car or something like that. Don't get pushed into a extended warranty or something like that by a salesman, but there you go. With the Wheel of Fortune, you have the um, Fool here. The Fool is about new beginnings. I don't know, weird. All three fire signs had something about new beginnings coming up, um, which is interesting. 
you're definitely starting something or you know you could be taking a leap of faith in a new direction we literally see that here you go up to the six of swords you know the story of the six of swords is that that woman and the child in the boat they're completely moving on from the past they are completely letting go of the their life on the other side and they're only bringing the clothing on their back so they're completely starting over um, just for the hopes of a brighter future and and they don't know they don't know what's on the other side right and so some of you could be making big changes uh, you have this past love card. It says in the past, past lover. You have this friendship card. You could be, you know, uh, some of you could be being friends with your past lover. It says friends, acquaintances, networking. Uh, I do feel like networking will be very beneficial for you. So anything you can do to uh, form positive relationships. I think I said this in your last reading as well. Um, you know, that there's been something coming up for you, Sagittarius, about really needing to make sure that you're creating positive connections, positive relationships, um, you know, really needing to make sure that you're getting into something that's like good for you or healthy for you or whatever you want to call it. So, um, you know, again, I think friendships would be a good idea. Uh, again, you could be coming friends with a past lover. I also do feel past life, like there could be a past life connection here. You have these six of swords, or sorry, the ace of swords, six of swords, and the nine of cups. Um, this could be part of the communication that's coming in for you, but Ace of Swords like cutting one thing out so that you can have something else, you know? Um, the Ace of Swords is a card of a sacrifice. There's a palm frond right here and an olive branch right here. So, you know, it really is a card of making some sort of sacrifice. Palm fronds in the tarot uh, represent sacrifice. And so you could be sacrificing one thing so you can have something else. Um, we kind of see that right here as well. You have these six of swords. So you could be completely um, moving on from the past. And so it's like you're not going back to the past. I feel like you could be like completely moving on so that you can have something better. Um, but that uh, the guy in the back of the boat, he represents a guide. So it's almost as if you are being guided towards something bigger and better or something just better in your life in general. And uh, yeah, I really like this for you. Um, you know, I feel like you're moving on from calmer to, to calmer shores. Uh, I think it's been a bumpy road. And, you know, again, that 10 of wands kicking off your reading is like, I, I think that's kind of like the overall energy of the reading is the 10 of wands in this reading. I feel it's kind of like saying, that you're finally uh, putting your burdens down. You have the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups just says that you have to be in the energy of what you want. So Nine of Cups is about bathing in the energy, you know, being the thing that you want to be. And I kind of say this as, as well because you have the Queen of Wands. And Queen of Wands is my card of acting as if. But she's also my card of kind of like learning as you go. So if there's something you want to accomplish, um, if you want love or business or whatever you want in your life, Nine of Cups just says be the energy. It doesn't. It's not even fake it till you make it, right? It's be the thing you want to be. And so I feel like that's what you need to do here. Um, you know, I always tell people like study the habits of people who have the thing you want to have. Like, you know, if there are people you look up to relationship wise, like what do they do to maintain the relationship and go do those things even without being in a relationship? Same thing with money. It's like we have to mimic success to have it. And that's what I would do here, right? It's like, how do babies learn, right? I, this is what I always say to people. It's like, how do babies learn? They mimic, you know, the, the adults that are around them. And so again, as adults, we don't have to be babies to do this. Obviously we can do it. We can mimic success and we will become a success successful if I can talk today. With the Ace of Swords, you have the Ten of Swords. I told you you're like cutting something out. So I feel, you know, something is dead done over with in your life. This could be a past person that you are completely releasing and completely moving on from. So, you know, there you go. Uh, you have with the Six of Swords, you have the Four Cups. Four Cups is a card of kind of like um, you know, it is a card of like disappointment, like trying to manifest something. But I do feel like you, like the grass is greener on the other side. It's not like you are thinking that it is. I actually feel the grass is greener on the other side. <laughs> so if you're moving on from something, moving towards something new, it's like a good idea, obviously. With the Nine of Cups, you have the Ten of Cups, fortune after difficulty. So I feel that there are a lot of good things, a lot of happiness coming in for you here as well. Uh, you know, I just also feel just fortune after difficulty. I'm not really getting anything major on this. Um, you know, I feel there is a sense of relief in this reading because of the 10 of wands, because you're releasing it. You have three tens here as well. So definitely some sort of ending and like new beginning energy. Uh, if you want love, you could be attracting a person. It could be a Capricorn, by the way. Um, it could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or a Leo as well. But going this way, uh, it could be a Capricorn. I feel like it's a person who really like uh, is very traditional, you know? Um, so you could be attracting a person who really, it's like they, you know, I feel like they like want to take you out on dates. It's like, it might be a little bit slow for you or something, or I don't know. <laughs> is this a bad thing? I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, so we're going to have to see, but 
you know, again, I kind of feel like maybe they move a little slower, but it's like not a bad thing. Uh, you have the scales card, it says justice documents, this envelope, it says unfolding surprise, definitely news coming in for you or communication, like I said on that uh, ace of cups, there's like good news or, you know, this could be approval that's coming in for you. Um, I'm also getting like, if you've been waiting for a person to get divorced or something so that you can be with them, uh, this could be like a person who's finally getting divorced. It could be you, like maybe you've been waiting to get a divorce so that you can uh, go date a person or something. I don't know, it's popping into my head. So there you go. You have the four of wands, the queen of pentacles and the magician. The four of wands is a card of freedom and setting yourself free. So I feel for a lot of you that you are kind of like completing things in your life. It's like wrapping things up and you are setting yourself free is kind of what I get here. Um, the 10 of wands is a card of like crossing through this portal. It is a card of marriage, but really the four of wands to me kind of represents, um, you know, completing something. It almost looks like a finish line right here. So I kind of feel you are completing something because again, 10 of swords, uh, six of swords, ace of swords, you're clearly, um, you know, cutting something out or moving on from something. And again, this could be marriage for sure. You know, you could be meeting a person that you will marry in the future, but I think there's just a bigger picture thing going on here. And, um, you know, I think that you're completing one thing. I think you're finding the resources necessary to be successful, doing something that you want to do. So I really feel that some of you could be working on like new projects, new businesses, um, or you could just be trying to upgrade the project or business that you work on right now. And it's almost like you're just getting extra resources or things are starting to work out. You know, it's like if you've been disappointed in the results you've been getting on something that you've been working on in your life, um, you know, like a project, a side hustle, you know, which always comes up for you, Sagittarius, or, you know, could be anything. Uh, it's almost like you're um, finally getting the result that you've been waiting for, you know? It, it almost gives me the vibes of like, you haven't been, you know, let's say you have a business where you sell something. It's like, almost like you haven't been selling something and now you are, <laughs> or something like that is kind of like the energy I get here. So I get a literal, um, you know, increase in your resources with this card. I also feel that some of you could be, um, you know, I feel like you're just increasing your resources in general. It's like, you know, more money. Uh, you have the magician. The magician is about reinventing yourself. But again, I really feel this is more you stepping into the energy, just being the thing that you want to be, which is exactly what I would do if I were you, Sagittarius, with this reading is I would be like, I would just be stepping into the energy of what you want. Again, I would be mimicking success. I would be doing the things that successful people do. And uh, that's it. I wouldn't, you know, no guessing games or anything like that, right? Uh, so let's see here. Uh, with the four of wands, you have the five of wands. Five of wands is about like taking a risk. You know, I, I used to call this card Indiana Jones because it's like a card of going on a crazy adventure so that you can get some treasure. So I think your life has been a little bit of an adventure up until this point. And now maybe you are getting some rewards for all the things that you've been through or all the things that you've been doing in your life. I would also encourage you to socialize. Again, if you're like making new friends, meeting new people, you know, I think that would be really, really good for you, obviously. Um, you know, so like anything you're doing, like uh, friendship, forming friends, stuff like that, I just think would be really beneficial here. Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Strength card. Yeah, you've been very patient. You could be attracting Leo into your life, by the way, but you know, I feel like you've been very patient. Um, and it's like your hard work is paying off with that 10 of wands. Like I said at the beginning of the reading, it's almost like, um, you know, you've been working hard to learn how to get cameras to focus and now they are. So, you know, you're finally getting the rewards that you desire in your life. You know, the strength card is a card of a display of strength as well. She has her hands in that lion's mouth. And I always say like, who in the right mind would stick their hands in a lion's mouth? The answer is nobody. So, you know, the card itself kind of represents being seen as being strong. You know, people you know, people in your life could be noticing that you have become very strong or you've de developed a lot of strength or something. Uh, with the magician, you have the moon. The moon is about fears, anxiety, illusions. But the moon to me says you need to keep going down this path and get to this these mountains that are in the background there. Those mountains represent achievements. And so I feel like there are great achievements coming in for you, but you really need to get to those mountains back there because um, those mountains represent success. So what the hell am I talking about? The moon represents doing something without knowing the details. It's like, you know, trying to grow business or, you know, trying to be successful in love. Like nobody really knows how to do that, <laughs> right? So, uh, you know, I, what I would say here is that it's about kind of like learning as you go. The moon is about one foot in front of the other and just, um, you know, realizing that the moon doesn't stay up forever, right? The moon comes up, the moon goes down, the sun comes up. So, you know, it's kind of like a temporary period of time, the moon. And so if you don't have answers or you're not sure what to do, just keep going, basically. Uh, next, 
in the area of the good stuff, you have this workaholic card. I feel like you are a little bit of a workaholic for like the past year or so. It says having a strong work e- work ethic and giving it 110% at all the time. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. You have this card that says you're shedding energies that no longer match your frequency. Yes, I feel like you are glowing up a little bit here, Sagittarius. You're kind of like improving your life in some way. I would make sure, even though it's showing up in the good stuff, I would make sure to balance your energies uh, with that workaholic card, but I feel like you're finding success just in general. You have the Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the Three of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles is a card of, normally of no movement and slow progress, but it's coming up in the area of the good stuff. So I feel you're making a lot of progress right now. Uh, I feel like your the seeds you have planted are growing. So if you have a business, a side hustle, you know something like that, I feel like you're either making money or you are increasing your resources or your finances greatly here. I really like this for you. Um, you know, I feel there's a lot of success or you're finding a lot of success at least with the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, you have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands about being bold, being assertive, really going for what you want. Um, it is showing up and she is showing up in the good stuff. So again, I kind of feel that you're embracing her energy. She has this uh, black cat right here. And during the times of tarot, black cats were considered very unlucky. unlucky. So the black cat itself kind of represents not caring what other people think. So I feel for a lot of you that... Um, you know, you being in a space of not caring what other people think would be a really good idea for you right now. So, um, you know, kind of just like doing your own thing. It, it, it's almost like you have the answers inside of you, like you know what to do. And there might be people who are like, oh, don't do this, don't do that. But, you know, again, I feel like you need to listen to yourself for sure <laughs> with that energy. Uh, you have the Three of Swords. Three of Swords, of course, can represent a heartbreak or a separation. So I feel like some of you have dealt with a heartbreak or a, some sort of separation, but now you are kind of like healing. Uh, I feel that for some of you, again, for some of you, this is like friendship wise, or, you know, this could be family as well. You know, if you had some sort of falling out with family or um, some issues with certain people in your life, it seems to me like you're healing it. This could also be work. I'm getting like a million things on that three of swords. Like maybe you had a falling out with people at work or something. Uh, You could be healing that. With the Knight of Pentacles, you have the uh, Judgment card, finding your purpose. Um, you know, I feel a lot of you are kind of like developing in your in your purpose right now, which has been probably going on for a couple of years at least for you. Um, I don't care if you're like 60 years old, <laughs> you you could, or like 70 or 80 or 90. I don't care how old you are, period. I feel like you've been developing in your purpose for a while and you could be discovering your purpose or like really feeling like you have a purpose. With the Queen of Wands, you have the Two of Wands. Yeah, this is about taking the lead in your own life. So the two of wands is about taking the lead and in, in moving forward towards something, um, you know, ma- creating a lot more success in your life by moving towards your happiness with the queen of wands. She has the sunflower in that she's holding there. The sunflower points towards the sun. And so what is your sun? Like, what is your guiding light? What is the thing that uh, gets you up in the morning? You know, what are you motivated to do? These are the questions that you should be asking yourself and like do more of that stuff. With the Three of Swords, you have the Three of Wands here. Three of Wands is a card of expansion and growth. So again, you could be letting something go here, going this direction here, and you could be expanding. Three of Wands is just an amazing card of like growth and expansion. So, you know, I feel for a lot of you, you're kind of like making some changes and uh, growing. You have this owl, it says, good advice from a wise person. Yeah, I feel like there are a lot of people who want to guide you or could help you at this time. So I would listen to the advice of like any mentors or any guides that you have or anything like that. I would listen. Uh, You have this butterfly, it says a change for the better. I mean, quite simply, I think this reading is basically talking about just a change for the better. Like you're improving your life in some way. Um, You're making more money or you're making positive changes. You're doing more of the things that you want to do, which is great. Uh, you have this I card. It says psychic ability, trust your intuition. I definitely feel you need to trust your intuition here. It's like your intuition is guiding you uh, towards bigger and better things. Um, you know, but it's almost like you're split. You know, maybe you're working on like a bunch of projects at once, or you're trying to do too much at once. So I kind of feel like having a little bit of focus and trusting your heart, like what your heart is telling you to do, would be a good idea. You have this quill card. It says get back to basics. Yeah, um, you know, in the 2024 readings, uh, that the yearly readings that I did, like almost everybody had this card. So I think we are in a time where we really need to kind of get back to basics, do what works, uh, focus on what works, right? But really pay attention. I think that when we have like a lot of problems, like issues in the world and things like that, we start like coming up with harder solutions, which is not always the answer. Like maybe they're, you know, maybe just go, getting back to basics and just doing what has always worked is the answer, right? So I would keep it simple for sure. 
you have this lion it says time to act yeah time for you to move towards your heart or you know time for you to uh work on that project you've always wanted to work on or that you are working on right now um and you know time for you to like double down right i feel a lot of you really could be um you know doubling down on things that bring more success into your life or you could be trying to discover the things that do bring success into your life like if you don't know you know um if you don't know like what is really moving the needle forward you could be trying to discover like what that is so pretty simple reading i like it as always so thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week